Okay, I'm going to go. Everybody, can you hear me? Yes, America can hear me. Watch out. I can hear you here. We have to. Hello, everybody. How is uh, how is America doing today? Huh? We have a technical difficulties here. I hope everybody is uh, uh, drove already, if, uh, you know, from uh, work. If you have work, uh, if you are a struggling artist, like most of us who are trying to uh, get more money, um, we are here for a reason. I, I hear I, you have to you have to turn it down because you gotta go somewhere else. Um, sorry, guys. Uh, I have my assistant here, but uh, I'm hearing echoing on my own saying. So it's almost like I'm talking to myself in the past. So I can't listen to myself if I already said some words already, who already were spoken. Okay, my next guest, guys, is uh, uh, a friend of mine uh, from New York. Well, not anymore. We met in New York. Uh, she talks about love and passion and uh, finding your way to connect with somebody else. I'm going to bring her up. We're going to introduce her. She's going to introduce herself. We're going to talk about maybe more about me or maybe about her or maybe everybody else. And now I'm going to bring my uh, guests again. Colleen's going to join us later about uh, how much money we raise because we are raising money today. Right, everybody? Are you raising money today? Yeah. Thank you. Raising money for, for everybody. Uh, today is Tuesday. Um, it's not Cyber Monday, but it's a Cyber Tuesday, but it's not actually a cyber. Anyway, uh, without further ado, we're going to uh, join uh, my friend. Uh, let's bring her up from, um, oh, this is a nice style. And then we're gonna, uh, how are you? I am good. How are you? Uh, thank you for visiting us. Uh, this microphone is not a green screen. It's a real microphone. Look at that. I see. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing is just a hoot. Well, <laughs> I hear my friends here already. I'm uh, operators are standing by. You know, I'm trying to call everybody else. Hey, George Clunet, send me some money, George. Anyway, anyway, we don't have that much time because we are on a schedule. So I want to get going with uh, decoding uh, human psychic. So tell us something about yourself. All right. Uh, my name is Yael Meisels. I'm 36 years old. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I'm an intuitive mentor and host of the show Hopeful Wisdom. And you want to decode, what did you say? You want to decode what? Uh, decode human psychic. Uh, I mean, I don't know what your expertise is, but I was wondering because we had a conversation before about why people do certain things like what would you say because we were a comedian we met as a comic so but you drift right. so maybe you can tell us a little bit about that about the drifting yeah how you change your um he's talking i you felt know? like i could have more I, I i just felt like i had a, a higher calling to the world to help people with heightened intuition than i did telling jokes i'm not so funny well, and um she's talking that man, so I've got children in the background. I'm sorry. Well, listen, children are the future of this planet. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, that's what they threaten anyway. Anyway, so uh, no, children are fine. I mean, as long as they're not uh, talking to the camera directly, then it's fine. I mean, that's there's one right there. Um, you know, you get used to this stuff after a while. You know what I mean? There is no privacy. It's it's children. But getting back to, you know, there's lots of reasons how people can fix their lives. There's lots of ways that people can fix their lives. I guess it would really depend on what the issue is. Um, that's figuring out how to tackle the issue. Uh, is there any specific issues that you have in mind? I have only issues in my life. 
all the issues in your life. I mean, I can tell you what I pick up on you. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I've had a couple of days to meditate on it. Okay. I think that, I'm sorry, go ahead. If you're judging me based on my introduction, I was a little bit flustered because my previous segment got completely destroyed because of my computer difficulties. Okay. So my aura, uh, my, uh, my, my presentation was maybe a little bit charged with anger. Oh, I mean, I didn't pick up on any anger. Um, I pick up on like that you're in a transitional state of your like of your life where you're like heading in the direction that you need to be heading in for per for personal growth. It seems to me that I'm always in transition in my life. Is that like a state of being or or just now it's even more important? I mean. Well, I mean, you haven't been serious about life until recently. Would you agree with that? Up, well. Up into a point. Well, would you say that because of COVID and what's happening in the world, everybody has the same kind of. You know? um, not not necessarily. Um, I mean, you certainly can. It's all a matter of perspective. But I'm sure, like, the COVID has something to do with it, sure. I mean, everybody, it seems to me that everybody is not maybe transitioning, but, like, on pause. And maybe pause is that transition. But tell me, what else do you know about my face? About your face? <laughs> what are um, you're a very spiritual person. You think, um, I'm not going to get into details, like personal topics, but I'm saying I see a very spiritual person and a person that's very connected or going through a, going through a spiritual awakening could be that you're at the very beginning of one. Uh, I'm always trying to be a better person. So I'm reading a lot, watching TED Talks, you know, TED Talks in my life are like my second mother. Right. Uh, and there's, there's always more TED Talks to be watched. Um, right. Um, but um, I don't know. I think I, I never lived in Wisconsin before and like rule, you know, like when it's just wood. Right. Um, and I feel wood perspective. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's what it is. And I'm trying to uh, uh, be... I, I guess ninety percent of success in the, with the world is if you know what you're doing. Like if you know. Right. What you're doing. I think that you're in this point where you're starting to know what you're doing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, there's a lot of things I'd want to touch on in a personal session, but I'm saying I think that you're in a stage of growth. I think there's a lot of growth going on. I think that you're in the right mindset to find a life partner. I think your shit is getting together. Your priorities are starting to be clear and straight. I, I, I agree with you. There's something, well, you know, I'm also 45. I'm getting older. So I think. Well, right at this state, but I'm saying you're, you're doing it. You're actually doing it. I think you're emotionally healthy. Yeah. Uh, let me ask, uh, can I ask my friend Colleen what she thinks about this? Uh, sure. Can I bring her up? We'll see what she what she thinks about it. Why not? Hi. Oh, I turned my mic off. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you because I was eating. So, are we are we making any money because I'm talking about myself so openly? Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you to all the donors and everyone has been very generous so far, and I think especially interested to hear more about you. And where your life is going and your relationships. Well, it's funny because when you're single in New York, everybody is single. Mm -hmm. Everybody is still very lonely. But because everybody is lonely and everybody is single, not everybody, but you know what I'm saying, then it doesn't feel as, as bad as in Wisconsin, Holcomb, when everybody is married and together. I think... Uh, well, I think that's why, and that's why you have different thoughts, you know? I think, uh, like the president said, New York is dead. You're not missing anything right now. 
So don't worry. I think you did the right thing moving to the hot spot of Wisconsin. Wisconsin is up and coming, right? And I think that she's right. You're in a transition into the next phase of your life. That's spot on. You don't see that? Uh, I am in, in a transition. Uh, it, it seems to me that all my life I'm in transition. So I don't feel that much difference. But the only thing difference is I know that uh, this microphone is so. Um, anyway, uh, well, thank you, Colleen, for your insight. Uh, I want you to go back to making money. It was. I just want to say hello. What you think about it? <laughs> thank okay. you. So tell me what, why you. People. What is what? Why you want to help people? Like which way you think you can help people with? Um, I help people with heightened intuition in whatever areas of their lives that they need additional support. And, and that's like through like through psychic ability. Okay, so can you give me an example with your previous, uh, with your previous uh, clients or friends? <clears throat> well, I mean, I usually don't discuss what I talk about in sessions publicly, but for example, I had a client who's grandmother had passed away uh, that I think around that week and um, something had happened where my client had left the room when her grandmother passed away and she needed clarification that like all was okay with her grandmother. So I was able to bring her a message from the other side. So you communicate with somebody who was deceased and delivered that message to that person? Yes. And how did you discover this ability? That's not like just something you all of a sudden have. No. <laughs> uh, no, I realized I was a medium at age eight. What does that mean? Um, I realized that I could communicate with those who had passed away. Wow, how did you find out about this? Can, can you tell me? Um, a loved one who had passed away made contact. Went to eight-year-old child? Yes. That's crazy. Um, usually it's been very positive experiences. Um, people talking about, you know, their life. Um, usually it's been very positive. I'm going to smoke a spliff. Usually uh, it's been very positive. I understand. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. it, some people who believe in ghosts, they actually... I've heard that if you, if you believe in ghosts... Ghosts will appear to you because you're not afraid of them. And the ghost, like, I don't, I try to believe in ghosts, but I think I'm afraid of them, so they will never scare me. I don't think you should be ghost hunting. I think you should be focusing on your personal growth and building your relationship with God and your angels. That's what I think you should be doing. Well, I'm always trying to, you know, as a Polish Catholic, I always try to learn like what's right and what's wrong and, and, and believe in Jesus. It's very hard. But anyway, I think we will continue that discussion uh, in a private way when we're going to, because today what I'm, what I'm trying to do is with these podcasts and this, you know, viral, mm -hmm. well, viral, not viral, hopefully viral, not really, but these virtual shows that we will actually have some friction and people will know that we want to bring art, people interested in like you and, and, and singing and you know, comedy, and so hopefully we can generate some sort of uh, help from people who, you know, can donate because we can't even perform uh, with, you know, outside. Right. But no, it's a bitch. The COVID thing is a problem. Well, that's why we're doing, that's why we're doing what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, well, 
I think we, I think the session I'm going to go with you is going to be more in detail to getting to know me, but not right now. Right. I just want to introduce you to our viewers and hopefully people can watch this later and, you know, maybe people will be interested and they will find you, you know, on Facebook and then reach out to you. Oh, I'd love that. So, but, you know, we all, are we all seeking until we die and hopefully we know what we want before we die. Hopefully. Yeah. And manifesting it in our lives. That's important. Say that again. I'm sorry. We broke up. No, manifesting in our lives the things that are important. Yes, I agree with that. I agree. Um, anyway, uh, please stay tuned for later. I'll, we will probably unite on your show and we'll sync up to Paradise Shores and we can uh, dissect our lives more. I'm going to Sounds say, good. I'm going to say hello to my uh, people. Maybe we are making more money because we are so great and amazing. I hope so. Good luck with everything. I know. I need it. Thanks for staying. And uh, uh, sorry for the difficulties. It's kind of weird to get to know somebody. Like people are watching. <laughs> and you look at the numbers, how many people actually like this. This is just it's just very uh, frustrating. But anyway, uh, well, enjoy your cigarette. And I will. Oh, it's laced with weed. It's lit. It's legal here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Well, uh, happy uh, uh, Giving Tuesday to you. Happy Giving Tuesday. All right. All right, sweetie. Take care. Bye. 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 Colleen? Hi, guys. Colleen? Colleen? Hello? Colleen? Hello? Hi, I just had to hang up with another donor. Okay. Sorry about that. Me too. Uh, that was actually uh, Gerard Depardieu from Paris. Hello, Gerard. Yeah. How is, how is the donation going? Very, very good. Uh, do you have a number? Uh, yes, the number is uh, on the bottom of the screen. And by the number, we mean, we mean, we mean the link. Uh, if we have a link, it will be great uh, if people can click on the link below uh, and, uh, you know, send their two cents what they think about it. You know, I think it's important that we are uh, a lighthouse, you know, we are a lighthouse. Uh, we are a lighthouse and we are promoting great art. And I think... Uh, I'm not going to talk more because I think we have another segment of uh, Annie. Annie and Penny. Annie and Penny is going to go. Maybe uh, the cat will join the dance. But uh, how are you doing, uh, Annie? What's going on out there? I'm good. Just hanging out. What about you guys? What what number are we up to? Do we have an estimate? Uh, we are between 270 and 1,000. That's amazing. So people... People Wonderful. like it, you know, uh, we, have, we have a great support from uh, uh, viewers like us. I love that. Well, and you guys are good. You're enjoying your, uh, this is pretty great telephone so far. I'm definitely enjoying it. Well, thank you. We had some difficulties uh, in a matter of uh, technology. It wasn't my fault. I'm, I'm, I'm amazing. I feel I'm great. Uh, the computer was not as great as me. Uh, it doesn't project my personality as much, so... Anyway, Amy, please, uh, uh, Annie, uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, please sing something for us. Uh, let's enjoy your singing because that's uh, too much talking. Let's just make some art. And uh, Colleen, please, uh, please uh, make those phone calls. Yes, back to the phone. Yes, okay. <laughs> This is a song called Smoke Show. And I'll start playing it. She's got ideas without legs. She's got a heart with no brain. 
got a kite, but the rain will fly fully. She's a disaster at best. Oh, she's a catch in the mess. She's got these catch in her dress. I'm all the clawing. And he's all I do is lie. And all I do is lie. Cause she's a smoke show. Do you know River Dance on Pluto? Oh, she's a wild card. She's ripping daisies from your backyard. Oh, she's a nightmare. Paper flowers in her white hair. Oh, she's a smoke show. Doing a river dance on Pluto. She's got these hands with no touch. She removes the paint with no brush. She's got a point, but no one wants to hear it. She's got this obsession with pride, like it's a treasure, and I'm just using some of her time to pay the psychic. And all I do is lie. And all I do is lie. Cause she's a smoke show. Doing a river dance on Pluto. Oh, she's a wild card. She's ripping daisies from your backyard. Oh, she's a nightmare. Paper flowers in her white hair. Oh, she's a smoke show. Doing a river dance on Pluto. And I'm just a witness. Oh, I'm just. great it was great so the phones were ringing off the hook with that one yes i like that this is great uh, amy thank you very much please come back again for maybe a couple of songs i know it's a long stretch oh, we yeah. got the wi-fi we is so bad i don't know why sitting right next to the router i don't know like it's you know apparently you apparently stream uh stream yard likes they they recommend the uh, uh wire Wi-Fi connection, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, listen, uh, we still have a connection because we are all human. We are all individual lighthouses with the lights projection within us. I love that. What a lovely thing to say. Okay, before we all go, let's see what's going on with the cat for a second and we have to go, okay? Boom. Cat, cat. What is going on with the cat? <laughs> Hi, cat. Hello, cat. All right, well, let's, I, I guess the cat is also uh, probably enjoying us. Anyway, we will say goodbye to a cat for now. Bye, ciao, cat. Um, and guys, I'll see you soon. Uh, hopefully we can reunite in the, in, in the nearest future, okay? Bye.
Colleen. Guys, pick up the phone like a matrix. See you soon.